Can I have sex if I'm on testosterone? The answer coming up. Hi, my friends. It's Sunki, the pharmacist here. Today we are going to talk about the testosterone. What is the testosterone? The testosterone is a 5-alpha reductase enzyme inhibitor, which is used to treat benign prostate hyperplasia in men. Benign prostate hyperplasia is a non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate gland, which causes urinary symptoms such as the feeling of your bladder being full all the time, even after passing urine, the feeling of urgency to pass urine, the need to pass urine often, a weak urine flow, leaking or dribbling, and more. This can be very frustrating. Benign prostate hyperplasia is very common as men ages. How does the test right work? Prostate growth is caused by a hormone called dihydrotestosterone (DHT). Testosterone lowers DHT production in the body, leading to shrinkage of the enlarged prostate, thus reducing the urinary problems. Before you start the test right, there are a few things you need to tell your doctor. Number one, if you are allergic to anything. Number two, if you suffer from any liver diseases or any other medical conditions. Number three, if you are planning to have surgery or an anesthetic. Now, please pay attention here. If you plan to have a cataract surgery, tell your eye doctor that you are taking this medication, or that you used this medicine in the previous nine months, because. There is a risk of you getting a serious eye problem called intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Number four, if you are currently receiving or are planning to receive dental treatment. Number five, if you are taking or planning to take any other medicines. This includes any vitamins or supplements without a script. Number six, if you are planning to have a baby. Now, the testosterone is found in men's semen, and if you exposed this to a woman who is pregnant with a male baby, it may cause the male baby to be born with an abnormal genital organ. So, make sure women who are pregnant or may be pregnant and children must not touch your testosterone. Wash the affected area immediately with soap and water if there is any contact with the skin. So, the frequently asked question. Can I have sex while on the test ride? You may, but you must not expose your partner with your semen, and you must use a condom. The test ride can stay in the blood for a long time. You must not donate blood until six months after you have stopped taking the test ride. How to take the test ride? Your doctor will tell you how much to take it. That will be dependent on your condition and also what other medications you are taking. The testosterone normally comes in a capsule form. It must be swallowed whole and not to be chewed or opened. Otherwise, it can make your mouth and throat sore. Take the medicine at the same time every day so you remember. Set an alarm to remind yourself if needed. Prostate become large over a long period of time, so reducing the size of your prostate so your symptoms improves may take time as well. So if you are being prescribed this medication, take it as long as your doctor tells you. Make sure you always have enough medication to last you over the weekends and holidays. If you forget to take it, if it is almost time to take your next dose, skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Otherwise, take it as soon as you remember, and then go back to taking your medicine as you would normally. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed dose. Go to your doctor regularly for checkup. Your doctor may occasionally need to do tests to make sure that the medicine is working and to prevent side effects. Remember to tell any other doctors, dentists, and pharmacists who are treating you that you are taking this medication. Side effects. All medication comes with side effects. It is always a risk to benefit ratio that the health professional is weighing when they prescribe you a treatment. Not everyone will experience side effects, so do not be alarmed by it. Side effects information is there so you know what to do if you do happen to experience it. 
I will list some of it here. You can find more side effects information in the leaflet that your pharmacist hands you. Let your doctor know if you experience any of the following side effects that I'm about to say. Inability to achieve or maintain an erection. Decreased sex drive. Difficulty with ejaculation. Breast swelling or tenderness. If this becomes an issue or if you notice breast lumps or nipple discharge, you need to talk to your doctor ASAP as this may be a sign of a serious condition such as breast cancer. Hair loss, usually from the body, or hair growth, depressed mood, testicular pain and testicular swelling, decrease in the sperm count and semen volume. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and thumbs up. I will be putting out more valuable content for all of you. Let me know what other videos you would like me to make. Until then, it's your pharmacist Sunki here. See you around.